As a default, PLCs within a Lekworks are automatically drawn from the terminations defined within the manufacturer's part. If I highlight this uh, combination module and right click and select the properties of this device, you'll see that the circuits it has six connection points, two are digital outputs, two miscellaneous and two digital inputs. And this is a part number 1746, um, etc. Now, if you don't want a symbol to be drawn parametrically, you can actually draw a PLC symbol within the Symbols Manager. As an example, I've drawn some graphics to represent our PLC. But I want to make sure that the circuits defined within the manufacturer's part are also defined within the symbol itself. If I select um, insert attributes to begin with, I can choose what information I'd like to show. So typically that would be the function, the location, um, um, the component tag, the manufacturer, the part number, and also some other information as well relating to the component. So for example, you might wish to add a description on, in English about the device. Let's go for this typically and we'll say OK. Now we can obviously change the justification and we can also change the offset of the attributes and position these accordingly. You may change snap in the middle of the command. To get them a little bit closer to the actual device. Now if we're going to add circuits I can go to multiple connection points and you'll see you've got a command called initialize from manufacturer's part. I can obviously just say add and try and remember what the, the parts connection points were but it's easier to initiate from the manufacturer's part. Type in the part reference in We can highlight the part and say select and these are the connections that we need to draw. So first of all we've got miscellaneous PLC. If I rotate the connection point round as if it's coming in at the top, that's the first one which is the miscellaneous PLC. The second connection is an output, third is an output and so on and so forth until we're happy about where those connections are. For each one of these connections we can also add additional attribute information. So for example for the digital PLC output if we go down to the uh, circuits connections circuit one as an example so you can be selective when it's a PLC and add additional pieces of information I'm just going to add the description and the channel address in this particular instance I'm also going to do exactly the same as well for circuit 2 choosing the same information and also, I'm going to do this for circuit 4 and 5, which were the digital inputs. And obviously I can rotate these around so that I can display them in a better position. And we can move these around to where I'd like them to be. So that's the description of that one. That's the description of that one. That's the channel address of that one. That's the channel address of that one.
If you prefer the channel addresses to be rotated, just simply highlight them and change the rotation. If you prefer the text to be centrally justified or middle justified, again just change the text and we've now got those middle justified. If you know you're going to have more than one line of description information, you can use the multiple attribute, specify the number of attributes you wish this to be split across. So in this case I've just changed this to two and we're having two lines of information for those fields. That is our PLC symbol done. All we've got to actually do is go back to our library, back to the manufacturer's part and change the properties of this symbol so that the electrical schematic symbol associated is this newly created symbol and that will be permanently associated and we'll use this symbol rather than the parametric symbol when PLC drawings are done. Thank you.